this is Trey Pass. Welcome to my review of Glass with no spoilers in this review. I'm going to do a spoiler review, but that will be on my other channel, Paul's Views and Opinions. For this review, I'm just going to keep it general and try to avoid spoilers with this review. Okay, this is the, uh, I guess, the third film in the Unbreakable uh, uh, split franchise. Uh, of course, we didn't know at the time that this was going to be the there was going to be a third movie to this trilogy. Uh, but here it is. But of course, after, if you saw Split, you know how it tied into uh, to the whole Unbreakable universe. Okay, so I was so looking forward to this movie because I you know, love James McAvoy. I think James McAvoy is very underrated. He did a great job at Split. And of course, you know how Sam Jackson's a great actor. And Bruce Willis, when he's properly motivated, <laughs> uh, can turn in a good performance as well. And of course, joining them is uh, Sarah Paulson. And of course, uh, Anna Taylor Joy, who was in Split as well. And they brought back uh, the actor who played Bruce Willis's son and the, the character, who, the actress who played uh, Samuel Jackson's mother from Unbreakable. So that's good to have those characters back in. And this movie is basically, uh, like I said, if you've seen the trailer, it's basically these three characters coming together <laughs> and basically this the world finding out that they, that they exist or them trying to let the world know that they exist. Okay, and of course, Bruce Willis, of course, we know he was uh, David Dunn who survived the train accident uh, all those years ago, and that's how he found that he had the, you know, he had the power and he had the ability to, uh, if he touched people, he could sense, he can, you know, sense their evil <laughs> and stuff. And of course, you have uh, James McAvoy as Kevin Wendell Crumb, who was, uh, you know, had DID, you know, 24 different personalities and stuff because he was abused by his mother. Okay, and then of course, we have Samuel Jackson who, you know, had the disease, I forgot what they call that disease that he had, but where his groans break, you know, hence the title, you know, and, uh, you know, he had the, but he was a, had an incredible mind, okay, and this movie, like I said, it brings those three characters together, and like I said, you've seen the trailer, you basically see uh, uh, Kevin Wendell Crumb kidnapping the girls, and Bruce Willis' character, you know, living his life with his son, running security business, runs into him, and he senses, you know, that this guy's, you know, <laughs> Is you know is evil and he's the one going around kidnapping girls, and he confronts them and of course they get caught and they get put into the hospital the same hospital that just has happened to have uh, Elijah Price Samuel Jackson's character in it, and again, the way this movie played out, again I had really high expectations for this movie because I really enjoyed Unbreakable of course, and Split was I thought was really uh, a welcome surprise, so this movie I had really high hopes for and I thought this movie. Was, was decent. I think it was decent, but I don't think it kind of lived up to my ex high expectations that I had for it. No, no, don't get me wrong. I think it was good. I think James McAvoy, again, he did another great job with all the different personalities and stuff, and we got to see the Beast more in this movie, which is a great thing to see, and he just, he was killing it to me, and of course, I thought Samuel Jackson as Elijah Price was really good. You got to see the wheels in his brain turn and all this, and that was a joy to behold, and of course, uh, uh, Bruce Willis kind of underplayed it, as that character is well, kind of low key, anyway. And I thought he did a, a decent job in it. But I, but Sarah Paulson's character, Dr. Ellie Staple, okay, and I think Sarah Paulson did a good job. But I think uh, overall, I think M Night Shyamalan kind of missed the boat with this movie. Not that it wasn't awful. I thought it was decent, but I think I think the movie could have been a lot better. There's a couple of things in this movie that kind of make no sense. <laughs> When you look at it, and I'll talk about that when I do my spoilers review, that logically doesn't make much sense. And I know he had to kind of try to tie this movie, you know, the events from Unbreakable and Split into this movie. And it doesn't always work, okay? And again, what he was trying to, I know he was, he, I think he was trying to be ambitious, okay? And I think it worked for for the most part, but I think he, he kind of missed on a, a several different things. And I'll, I'll talk about that when I do my spoiler review. But overall, like I said, I think it was a decent movie and it's a decent entry into the franchise. But I think this is the weakest movie of the three. I think Unbreakable is just a classic. And I think Split is another classic. But I think this movie just kind of missed the mark. I think that movie is, this movie is right below. It's not a horrible movie, no, by any means. I think it's entertaining and because you know the characters from the other movies and stuff. But I don't think it reaches the height of those other two movies. I think those other two movies stand on a level like right here and I think uh, Glass is like right below it but it's not because of the actors performing. I think the actors did a real, really good job with what they were given I just think what they were given was kind of underwritten and not as good as it could have been okay and I'll 
again, I'll talk more about that when I do my spoiler review. And uh, again, I thought Antella Joy as Casey Cook. I thought she was good. I even liked the actor who played, you know, his son, Spencer Tree, Tree Clark, who was his son. You know, he's a little kid back then, but you know, I've seen him in Agents of Shield and stuff. So I've seen him in a few other things, and I thought he was good in this as well. And of course, I, I again, the actress who played his mother, Charlene Woodward, I thought she was good as good as well. And I thought, again, I thought uh, Sarah Paulson was really good too. She's always good in everything she does. But I think this movie kind of missed the mark as as a classic as compared to Unbreakable and Split. If you've seen those movies, you'll say this movie is not at that level. Okay, it's a decent film, but not as good as the other ones. Okay, but I still enjoyed it because I'm a big fan of the characters in the universe. So I'm going to give uh, Glass, I'm going to give it a 7.5. Okay, I think the other movies are like 8.5s, you know, maybe in nines even. But I think this movie didn't quite hit the height that it could have hit, okay? And this is my opinion. Again, I'll talk more about that in my spoiler review. Anyway, let me know what you think of uh, Glass. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. And if you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram in the description box, as well as a link to my other channel, Paul's Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.